Hello and welcome to Unite and Prosper, where we will not be divided or conquered. And while you're watching this video, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and share, share, share. Well, I came across this uh, website here uh, with a little story about just in. Kamala's Secret Service broke into the salon. Taped over cameras, owner speaks out. Uh, so, uh, Secret Service agents have been accused of disabling a security camera and unlawfully entering a hair salon in Massachusetts. As part of security preparations for Vice President Camilla Harris's campaign event. The incident unfolded on July 27th at the 413 Salon, situated behind the Colonial Theater in the Berkshires, where Harris was scheduled to speak. Salon owner Alicia Powers said that she had shuttered her Pittsfield establishment at the agency's orders, which they had uh, surveyed earlier in the week. The agency was tasked with protecting the vice president, who was attending her first in-person fundraiser since emerging as the presumptive Democratic nominee. They had a bunch of people in and out of there doing a couple of bomb sweeps again. Totally understood what they had to do due to the nature of the situations, Power explained to Business Insider. And at that point, my team felt like it was a little bit chaotic, and we just made the decision to close for Saturday. Wow, Saturday closing on a salon? That's, that's a lot of business on Saturdays. A Secret Service spokesperson attempted to downplay the incident, saying the agents would not enter without permission from the owner. However, the spokesperson confirmed that one agent did cover the lens of a security camera. This is right here. This occurred on the morning of the campaign. At 8.10 a.m., surveillance footage captured a Secret Service agent in a dark suit without an identifying pin, approaching the 413 salon. The agent was seen handing or handling a roll of masking tape, pausing to survey the salon's front entrance, and the security camera mounted there. Moments later, she used a chair to reach the camera and observed its view with tape. Huh. No identifying pin, so I would think that She's trying to make her think it's just a regular person in a suit hiding the camera. I don't know. Despite the locked doors, later footage from an internal camera revealed that four individuals accessed the salon over a span of nearly two hours. This group included two in emergency medical uniforms, one in a camouflage law enforcement outfit, and another dress similar to the initial Secret Service agent. Throughout that period, the salon security alarm blared. No footage is shown giving any of the agents granted entry. I'd like to see the footage of them breaking inside. It said uh, later footage from the internal camera revealed it. That's what I like to see. There were several people in and out for about an hour and a half just using my bathroom. The alarm's going off, using my counter, and with no permission, said Powers. And then when they were done using the bathroom for two hours, they left and left my building completely unlocked and did not take the tape off the camera. Wow. Left it unlocked. Not very secure for security team. Powers revealed to Business Insider that according to an EMS worker, the Secret Service agent responsible for securing that day had been inviting people to come in and use the bathroom. <laughs> come on over. Powers told the outlet that she uh, discovered signs of forced entry in the salon's door lock. The intruders who accessed the salon left behind a disheveled, disheveled bathroom. The experience, Powers said, left her feeling deeply violated. I wasn't about it. Whoever was visiting, whether it was a celebrity or not, I probably would have opened the door and made them coffee and brought in donuts to make it a great afternoon for them, she said. But they didn't even have the audacity to ask for permission. They just helped themselves. I mean, that's not breaking an entry. I mean, the door lock, you know, signs a forced entry on this law's door lock. I mean, breaking an entry. Wouldn't you think? I would. 
Following the uh, BI's inquiry to the agency, the head of the Secret Service's Boston Field office called Powers to offer an apology. <laughs> Powers said, he said to me, everything that was done was done very wrong. Duh. They were not supposed to take my camera without permission. <laughs> they were not supposed to enter the building without permission. Yeah, and water makes your head wet. I'm, duh. They <laughs> said, the Secret Service rep representative offered to have the salon cleaned and to pay for the alarm company bill for the day. What about the door? He also suggested meeting in person over a cup of coffee to apologize. <laughs> and offer powers accepted. Hmm. Oh, I, wa I wanted to see him. I wanted him to see the salon. I see. And I wanted him to see what I did for the community. And be in this face. Oh, and be in this face, yeah. And have an understanding as to how this could have been ruined with the slightest wrong move. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's, uh... I mean... I don't see it any other way. That's breaking an entry and then leaving and, and leaving it unlocked. I wonder, I wonder if they could even have locked it because since, uh, you know, where it is, where... Um, bum, 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 bum. yeah, what's the entry on the salon's uh, door lock? They had to Jimmy did to get it out, or you know, but that's breaking an entry as far as I know. In, in my law book, anyway. And Kamala is a lawyer, so she should know that. <laughs> so I guess we got we got the Trump Secret Service lying in and get shot in the head. And Kamala's Secret Service allowed to break into salons and use their pisser. <laughs> and invite people over. Hey, come use the bathroom. Come on over. <laughs> oh, wow. All right, well, I thought I'd uh, share this with you guys. And uh, let you see that, uh, yeah, this thing is she's president. They'll be breaking into your house to go use your bathroom. <laughs> Well, that's all it for this uh, video. I would like to thank you. Appreciate you. Glad you watched it. And uh, if you have any questions or comments, you know, or about this or anything, just leave them below there. I'm, I like reading comments. All right. You have a great day.